Hey, this is Jason from JSM Computer Solutions. Today we're going to disassemble a Dell Latitude D630. Uh, compatible model is also a D620. Uh, very similar in uh, uh, taking them apart. The uh, only really difference is the, the motherboard uh, speeds. Um, I've already taken apart um, uh, all the screws out. So what we're going to do is we're going to power it on. That way we can see that it works. It's full, ready to roll. Um, that should be it. So now that we're powered on, all right. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna start off. Like I said, I've taken a lot of the screws out just to make it simpler for the video. Uh, but I'll show you where the screws go as we go along. Uh, first, what we're gonna do, um, like I said here, we've already taken all the screws out of the bottom. Um, taking off the memory cover and the battery. Uh, there's several screws uh, to take out to start with. Obviously you have your hard drive screws that have already taken the hard drive out. And uh, there's screws uh, right on this right side here, 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 and here. And once you take those all out, uh, you'll basically have uh, everything that connects the touchpad and palm rest uh, to the bottom of the machine. Uh, these two ones on the bottom, they have a D next to them, and um, they actually have uh, are what holds on the LCD. I've actually left those screws in uh, for the moment, uh, that way the LCD wouldn't flop around. Uh, so, but what we're going to do to get started um, is go ahead and take out the keyboard and uh, start working on the LCD so that we can get them in broken into at least two halves. On the right side of the machine, if you look up real close, there's a little tab right here which you can put a screwdriver under and pop out. So pull your LCD flat back and you can stick your screwdriver up in there and it should start popping out. The power button bezel and then like there's no screws to it, it just pops right off all right uh, on here there's actually a screw uh, here here and here for the keyboard I've already taken those out now once you get those out all you gotta do is pop it up and slide it out forward flip it forward like this because underneath there's actually a purple fastener. Uh, that, this is the only model I really see this on. But if you pull that out, the fastener comes up, pull the other purple strip, and pull it out, and I'll pull the keyboard right out for you. And that's what the keyboard looks like there. Alright, so let's take a look in here. Um, I've taken out the Wi Fi here. Uh, over here is your um, cellular card that you can put in there. I've taken that out already. Here's your memory. Just slide your sl sliders like that. Pull it up. And that takes that. Um, what you're going to have also is routing of the cables for the monitor. Uh, so you're going to have your video cable, which is this blue tab here. Just pull that straight up and route it through. And then you have your Wi-Fi cables. You can just route through, and then your other Wi-Fi cables on the other side. And you have two more where the cellular cable was. Now those just pull right out. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the screws out um, from the actual monitor here. There's actually one right here that has a D on it and then there's one on the front here that has another spot. I'm going to have to take those out and uh, they're on each side. Once I take those out I'll uh, get, turn the video back on. Alright, I grabbed those screws out. Uh, before we get too much further I just wanted to go over the tools that we need to be, uh, to be using. Um, 
just regular screwdriver uh, with the Phillips head, obviously the small kind. Um, I then believe this one is a CR7, I think. Uh, and then uh, I usually have one of these hanging around. Uh, they're easy to pull up cables and that type of thing. We actually use it to flip up the the um, power button bezel. Um, so now that we've taken those screws out, the two on each side. Um, also, uh, before we get too much further, I want to show you that there are actually screws in this hard drive right here. There's one here and one at the top here. That's also connected to to the palm rest. We want to take those out. So once we got all those cables routed out and the screws out, I mean the LCD just pops right off. It's pretty simple. And I'll go through the LCD once uh, once we get that far. We'll go ahead and take apart the rest here. So what we want to do is take the actual palm rest off from the bottom of the, the board. Uh, and they all have plastic hooks that go in. So I usually start from the top. But before we get to, uh, to before we do that, there's actually three screws. Uh, one here, one here, and one here that we need to take out. And that should take but a second. And if you have a screwdriver that's been magnetized, it works a whole lot better. Um, trying to get these out and trying to bang them around, trying to get them to come out of the hole here. And once we get these three out, it should just pop right off. We just gotta be careful with two cables underneath. There's one on this left side. There's a cable right here underneath the palm rest, and then there's a there's a cable right here for the BIOS battery, which we can just pop that right out before we get started. Because the BIOS battery actually sits on the palm rest. And what we're gonna try and do here is work our way through. So push up, put your thumb on the heat sink and push up a little bit and it should start coming apart. Um, then what I normally do is I go to this side here because I don't know if you can see it but if you look really 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 close there's little hooks there's three hooks um, that the plastic sits on if you have one in front of you you'll see what I'm talking about if you just pull up up and away then those pull the rest of the uh, touch pad off and then what we want to do on the right side is actually pull up and away again. If we can do that. If it doesn't work, sometimes you can get it pretty easily. If that doesn't work right away, go ahead and start on the front. See, so this one's not doing it right away. So if we do pull up and away in the front, you will get this further. Just work your way around. Don't try to do the whole thing at once because that's when you break pieces off. I don't know why this one piece isn't coming off. Here. Make sure I didn't miss any screws. Yep, that's why I missed a screw. That's why it wasn't coming off, so now it should just pop right off here. drive is all right so once we get that out there's this connector right here I don't know if you can see it with my hands in the way I'll show you when I pop it off right there this is the connector that pops off that holds it up a little bit and I'll take off your palm 
All right, so now we have uh, this here. And basically what I would do is kind of work your way around everything. Um, I usually take off the heat sink, um, take that out to give us a little bit uh, a little bit lighter to, in flexibility. Uh, on this particular model, you can't take out the fan without taking out the motherboard that's actually hooked up underneath um, to get that out. So uh, what we're going to do is take this heat sink off real quick and it's just a regular screwdriver. Um, and there are um, you're going to need one more screwdriver uh, on this particular model or a pair of pliers will work too. Uh, it just makes it a little more difficult. Alright, as you can see that just pops off like that with the four screws on the front there. Um, and then there's one screw in the fan. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and start taking out all the screws uh, for the motherboard. Uh, so there's a screw here, here, uh, one down here, one here, one here, one here. And then uh, what we're going to need to do is take these ports off here, these screw, the screw holes for the ports. Um, and what we're going to do with that is actually use one of these if you have one. They come with almost every tool kit for computers um, if I have the right size one. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, take all those screws out. Here we go, here's the right size. Um, take all the screws out in front of the board. I just want to show you this one. You know, it's pretty simple. And then uh, Okay, so now that we got all the screws out, I can kind of show you what's going on here. Alright, uh, what we need to do also is pull the modem card out uh, because there's a cable that holds on. It goes on the back side. Uh, there's also your fan cable right here that needs to come out. There's a cable that goes here and a cable that goes there. Uh, and then you have your speaker cable at the top. Once we unplug the speaker cable, that should just pop right out. It's not screwed in there or anything. Pull off your uh, PCMICA card um, adapter. Done. And then it really should just come right out as simple as this. And then it just pops right out. Uh, then there's one screw for the fan. That should pop right out also. And there's your fan. All right. The last part is going to be uh, the LCD. So what we're going to do, is we have our LCD, and there are four rubber spots at the top and two at the bottom, and we're going to pull those off and uh, once we pull those off there will be screws underneath it, we'll take those screws out. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got the uh, screws out now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this bezel off. And uh, so basically what you want to do is start at the bottom here, push out and then down and that should pop this portion off here. 
and so you can get a big chunk of it there. What I normally do is I <clears throat> go to the top. This one's already kind of come loose already. Do the same thing. Push the latch over. I don't know if you can see that. Um, push the latch over. Pull that off. And then you, what you want to do on the outside is push almost kind of down on these outside pieces. Down and out. And then they'll come undone if you do it that way. And then when you get to the corner, you want to do down and out in the corner one way. And then down and out the bottom way too. Get the rest of this off here. All right. So you gotta kind of do like a down and out left and right uh, in the corners. Um, not a whole lot of fun getting those bezels off most of the time. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the LCD out. So <clears throat> what you got here is uh, two screws in this bottom half, uh, one screw here, one screw here, and two down here again. Uh, and then there's one on each outside part here and outside over there. So let me go ahead and take those out really fast and then we'll finish this up here. Alright, now those screws are out, what we're going to do is pretty much just tilt it forward holding the back and it should just pop right out. And then there's your back cover. Alright, <clears throat> so all we have really left on here is to uh, take the graphics cable off, which you're just going to pull little clips. Some of them have tape on them so uh, watch out for that. Then you've got a little clip on the bottom here that goes on to the LCD inverter and then that pulls right off and that's your graphics cable. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is show you um, the LCD inverter. There's a screw right here. I'm going to take that out real quick. show you an easy way to get that out okay so you have your LCD inverter right here some of them don't have a whole lot of glue and they just pop right out this one does have some glue on it uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it like this in the LCD inverter position here and then we're gonna take the screwdriver and kinda just run it underneath on the plastic don't try not to dig into it too much uh, but we're just going to run it along the, the plastic in the, to separate it from the middle. Um, and you should be able to hear it. Don't pull too much because you don't want to damage it. But you just want to get it enough so you can kind of pull it up without ruining either the uh, LCD um, aluminum or the, the actual LCD inverter. And there it is right there. I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can visit us at www.jsmcomputersolutions.com. Uh, feel free to um, send us an email anytime. Just visit our site, get our contact information. Um, and I appreciate your help. Thank you.